Hello guys and welcome to another TKG Games tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at problem 12 which is highly divisible triangular number. The sequence of the triangular number is generated by adding the natural numbers. So the seventh triangular number would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 which is going to give us 28. The first term would be in the give the first terms. And then it says, let us list the factors of the first seven numbers. And they do just that, right? And then the question is asking us, um, what is the value of the first triangle number to have over 500 divisors? All right, so the part of this problem that's the hardest is trying to figure out how to find the factors of the numbers, right? Because obviously you need to find the factors in the most efficient way right so that's the only problem if you have watched the tutorials that i did on finding prime numbers you know that you can use the same formula that finds if a number is prime or at least find the factors so that we can use those factors to find if a number is prime uh, you can use that formula to actually find the solution to this problem all right so let's go ahead and implement this solution so what i'm doing i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to create a new java class and I'm going to call this one HD and a triangular uh, triangular numbers. All right. So we have this. Okay. So what we need first is to um, find the factors of a number. All right. So the way we can find the factors of a number is by using the square root uh, algorithm while well, we take a square root of a number and you find the lower half of the numbers that divide into that number and then you can use that the numbers that you find to find the upper half of the numbers that divide that number so let's go ahead and actually uh, set that up so what we need to do is let's create a uh, let's make this private since i'm not using anything outside this class uh, static and we're going to use a set just because we want to get rid of any duplicates that we find. For example, 16 um, has a duplicate with 4 because 16 divides 4 and the square root of 16 is 4. So eventually we end up with two fours and we don't need duplicates in our code. Okay, we don't need duplicates with the factors. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and hit out enter to the import, and this one will be to get um, factors, okay. And we're gonna pass in the uh, number. I want to get the factors off. So I want to do this in a more clear and concise way. So what I want to do is I'm going to do a set. This is going to be the first half, all right, of the numbers that we find, and then eventually we're just going to go ahead and actually merge them. And then we're going to use um, hash set, and apparently, and this is going to be a hash set of uh, integers, right? And um, what we need to do is get the second half. So set uh, second half. Goes to new. I set. Take an integers. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to get the square root of the number. So I'm going to say var s q t r is going to equal to and then I'm going to cast it, so it's going to be int. And then we're going to use the uh, math.square root uh, formula, and we're going to pass in number. Because this actually returns a double, so we have to cast it to an int. All right. So let's uh, actually go ahead and do this for a second. Let me show you guys how this works. And I'm just going to go ahead and push this up for a little bit and close this out. So let's say we have the number 16. So the square root of 16 would give us four, right? So the numbers that are in between four, right, would be, so we're gonna start from one. We get one, two, uh, three, and four, all right? So the first set, right, is gonna be, six, the 16 divide one, the answer is gonna be yes. So we get 16 to that set. So 16 divide 2, the answer is going to be yes. In fact, it's going to give us 8. So that's cool. Does 16 divide 3? It doesn't. Does 16 divide 4? Yes, it does. Okay, so we get, for the first part, we get the numbers 16, 8, and 4. Now for the second half, what we're going to do is we're going to say 
Well, does 16 divide into 16? The answer is going to be yes, it goes one time. Does 16 divide into 8? The answer is going to be yes, it goes two times. And does 16 divide 4? The answer is going to be yes. However, since 4 is already on the first list, we don't want a duplicate. That's the reason why we're using sets. So eventually, we end up with the factors of 16 as 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And voila, we're done. So this uh, formula works very well because we don't have to go through all of the values between um, 1 and 16 to find all of the um, to find all of the factors, we can take one fourth of 16 and be able to still find all of the factors, all right? So let's go ahead and implement this uh, solution and finish it up. So what we need first is a for loop. So I'm gonna create a for and there, and it's gonna be the divisor. And this is gonna equal to one, all right? And so divisor is gonna be less than or equal to the square root. Do uh, divisor plus plus. So now that we have that, you're gonna say that. Uh, let me just can close this. Say that if number uh, mod divisor is equal equal to zero, then we're gonna say that the first half dot add right the device the divisor, all right. So now that we're done with the first part, now we've got to do the second part. So what we can do is create a variable here. I'm going to call this one iterator. It's going to be equal to the um, first uh, set first half dot iterator. Right. So we're going to say while uh, iterator dot has next, then we want to go ahead and say that value uh, number is equal to iterator dot next. All right, and I'll use number, so I'm going to go ahead and just use uh, num. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that the second half dot add, right? So we're going to say num or number divided by the actual, you know what, let's change this to, let's change this to value, okay. So I'm gonna say num divided by value. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is, um, let me see what's going on here. Okay, so I miss, I'm missing something here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and uh, return null, okay? And before I do that, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and just print out the sets. So I'm gonna say set, and this is gonna be the set uh, first half, and the set the second half. So we can see what it looks like, all right, for the number 16. And then what we need to do is we just need to utilize our main method for now. So it would be uh, see you get factors and let's pass in 16. And let's see what the outputs are for the sets that we printed out. All right, so you guys can see that uh, we get exactly uh, what I did earlier. We get one, two, and four, and then we get 16, four, and eight, right? But if we merge the two sets, then since four already exists, um, then only we, uh, the, with sets, we only have one uh, copy. So all, the, all of the copies are gonna be unique, right? So instead of us going ahead and returning no, what we need to do is gonna say that the uh, set first half, right? Um, then we're going to use the add all to add a collection and then we're going to add the second half. All right. And then what we need to do is just return the set first half. All right. And then we're done. So now if we went ahead and, um, SLT get factors and passing 16, 
then we get all the factors of 16 right obviously uh, it's not arranged it's not sorted uh, if you want to sort it that's fine but for this problem we don't care about the order so sorting it would just be taking more um, computation out of the program and it's not necessary all right so with that done let's go ahead and actually just create uh, the shell to run the actual problem the question is asking so what we need is we need a private um, static and I'll make this one an int and this one's gonna be the um, largest device all over 500 and we're taking the final int and this is gonna be the size right so what we're going to do is just create a for loop here, right? So we're going to say that uh, for int value, right, equal to one, and the increment value that we need. So we're going to say, oh, I need to do this. So we're going to say increment is going to equal to two, right? And for the conditional, we don't need anything because um, once the uh, the value becomes what we need, we can just go ahead and return, all right? So what we're gonna say is that the value is gonna equal the, plus equal the increment, and then we're gonna increment uh, by one. And we're gonna say that if, right, get factors, and then we pass in the value. And then what we're gonna do, we wanna get the size, right? If that is uh, greater than the size that we are taking in, then we can just go ahead and return the value. All right? So as you know, uh, with the Eula project, it's saying that uh, we have, so we have this sequence of numbers, right? We're definitely starting at one and then we're adding two to one to get three. And then um, after that, we're adding three to get six. So I'm just, uh, for the for loop, I'm just recreating this sequence right here. And um, so that we get the outcome that we want. Obviously we don't have something, there's not condition here, right? Um, unless we want to make this the condition, that's possible, right? But at this point, it doesn't really matter how you do it, um, as long as you get the right answer. So once we have that, we can come inside here and just do um, SLT here. And then what we want to do is we want to say call in the largest divisor. And then we number that we're looking for is 500. So we want all of the we want the number with the divisors that are or the factors that are over 500, right? So let's go ahead and uh, run this algorithm and we get this huge number and this is it all right guys this will be it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoy it um if you guys have anything you guys want me to work on let me know if i have some spell time i'm gonna put into that uh if you like what i'm doing please like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next tutorial Bye bye